Eva.com. I'm hanging out with my buddy Eva. She happens to be my daughter. <laughs> Eva, this is a video hop. It is celebrating my friend Emily's 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you, Emily, for inviting us to participate. We have participated in the past. Yeah. You've done several videos on my YouTube channel for here and there over the years. Mm -hmm. How old were you with the first one? Three. She we can she, link the video below. We'll link it because you were demonstrating the big shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three years old. You have something impressive to show today. But before we get to that, video hops come with prizes, everyone. What are we mm -hmm. giving away? We are giving away two free ink pads on every video. So be sure to comment on every video for more chances to win. If you like the channels, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when new videos go up on the YouTubers channels and you will be learning tons of amazing things with stamping. So what are you going to show us today, Eva? Are we going to stamp? Yes. A fun All right. technique. All right, let's get started. <laughs> All right, Miss Eva, what do we got going on here? So I'm going to start off by re-inking the WOW embossing pad because it needs to be super inky for the... This re-inker is a new product, which made me really excited because I like to have really juicy embossing pads. Yes. So I'm gonna ink up the Kaleidoscope background and we're using the Misty because we're gonna use watercolor paper and it's bumpy, so we wanna make sure we get like all of the... Get your really detailed image there, right? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good, but let's give it another pass. Yes. <laughs> all right let's see oh yes beautiful look at that all right so i'm using the wow opaque bright white embossing powder i like to use a lot because... yeah you do <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna start okay. warming up the tool all right you pour that back in the container and i'll heat this so when you're doing white or clear embossing powder, it's important to kind of watch it from the side. You want to watch in that corner, you can see it's starting to turn white and shiny rather than a powdery look. And that's how you know it's done. So when you're finished, you're just going to want to look at it in the light. You can see, make sure all the spots are shiny. Now we're going to use the Picket Fence Studios Life Changing Brushes and we're gonna use party dress, tiara, and all that jazz. Ooh, that's an amazing color palette. So I'm gonna start with all that no jazz. No flirty fuchsia. No, well the um, all that jazz and party dress mix to make a purple. Oh, because right. so, I'm hoping she's gonna slip this in, you guys. Well, yeah. The trio flirty fuchsia, wink embossing powder, tickle embossing glitter, and frisky emboss or just sparkles. Yes. So I'm just like dipping the brush into the ink pad and then putting it onto the paper wherever I want. And I want to get enough over the paper so I have a lot of color. And you can always add more layer if you want to do multiple layers. Okay, now I'm just going to wipe it off here. And we're going to move on to party dress. Party dress is next? Yes. All right. Yeah, you got a little all that jazz still on there, so I see that mixing with purple. Okay. Needing a little bit more ink. It looks pretty light. Can I re-ink your pad? Sure. All right. So all of our ink pads come with ink refills, and you just squeeze the nozzle gently, and then I'm gonna run the nozzle over the pad gently to disperse the ink. Okay. Now, are you gonna go straight into Tiara? Yes. All right. I like it. All right, I'm just <clears throat> gonna wipe off my brush. And then these will mix a little bit to have like a more orangey. Oh yeah. And you can put as much color or as little color as you want, depending on the look you're going for. All right. Now we're gonna take the Distress Sprayer Oh. And let it run. So 
So I kind of like it where the pools of color were just staying inside the lines. Mm -hmm. But then if you want a little bit different look, you can do what Eva's doing and add more yeah, water and make them run a bit. These two examples. Oh, yeah. Those look nice. This one has a little bit less color. This one I did two layers on. Oh, so you let it dry and then you add more color? And then I did color? Layer, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. And All then, right, so yeah. then you're just going to let it dry. Um, and this is the emboss resist technique because you can see the ink color is being resisted by the mm. embossing and it stays white. So the design pokes through. Very cool. So now we got to work on a sentiment maybe while that's drying. Yeah, well, we can also use a heat embossing thing. That's what I did on here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sometimes when I heat it, heat it to dry the, the color, then the embossing will heat up again and mix with the color so really? it doesn't stay as white. It looks like you didn't really have that issue. So yeah. that's good. But let's set this aside and work on the... All right. Let's let it just dry naturally. So what do you want for a sentiment? So we decided to change the color. We're going to use Aquatini. Yes, because that would match more with the background. Yeah, so we'll use the embossing this. glitter, the Aquatini embossing glitter. This is called Splash. I'm using the wonderful word dye. That should be good. It's all covered. There we go. So the glitter, you need a two-way mm -hmm. glue pen to stick it oh, to. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the, the embossing glitter is an embossing powder with glitter in it. There you go. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> and then I like to use like my pokey tool to kind of hold it in place. We might need two layers on this one. Yeah. Hold on, let me do the whole thing. Okay, now let it um, kind of cool down a little bit for a second and then we'll dab it onto the embossing pad again. Alright, sparkle this up again. This looks wonderful, wow. Eva. <laughs> wonderful. Gorgeous Aquatini glitter. So let's take the awesome and wonderful stamp set. Which one is which word do you want to use? Perfectly. Perfectly. Perfectly wonderful. And then you want to grab because a that way, black. That's what, that's what you are. Grab a Perfectly piece of, wonderful. do you want to grab a piece of black cardstock? Sure. All right. And Midnight then cardstock. we've got our wow embossing pad. Stamp the perfectly on there. So I'm going to use this Nuvo glue to glue my background piece to a piece of black cardstock. Midnight. <laughs> when you add a lot of water to a piece of cardstock, even when it's watercolor, it does get warped. And then when you add heat and you're doing all these techniques, so I like to always adhere them to a, a layer. And it also gives it a nice finished look. I'm going to put dimensional adhesive on the back of this while you put glue on the wonderful. So I have my 3M mounting tape. And also the black cardstock ties into the perfectly. Oh, yes. Card front. Oh, this looks nice, Eva. Well, I think yeah. It's perfectly wonderful. Now, all we have to do is add the perfectly. Do you want some sequins? Yes. Here oh, no. are our Bourbon Street sequins. You see any in there that you want to use? Here's your quick stick. Put some glue on there and we'll pop some sequins on. Okay. Let's do a little star. Because you are a star. You're a star. A perfectly wonderful star. <laughs> about one down here. Okay. And actually, we did three up here, so we needed to to do two down there, so it's five. I'll okay. get this. Should we put right here? That like right right here. Oh, smooth. Very nice. All right. So don't forget to comment on our videos and subscribe to the channels you're interested in. And if you're new to our ink, I wanted to show them stamping real quick. Gorgeous card, Eva. Well, I, I love you. it. So before we go, if you are new to our inks, we have a foam pad 
they are squishy so just a really light tap tap is good and look solid ink you don't have to work real hard to get them inked up or get your stamp synced up and then you get a nice solid image when you stamp they're also great for second generation stamping and then eva you want to do the center we'll do tiara yes Gorgeous. So we have 50 colors, more coming soon, and you can head over to katherinepuller.com slash ink to learn more about our ink pads and what makes them special. Thank you so much, Emily, for including us in your hop. We are so excited to be, be hopping with you, and mm -hmm. that's all. Have an awesome day. Bye, guys. Pretty amazing. I wasn't ready.